University, Sir Bharatari Ji Singhanya, my colleague Dr. B.V. Babu, Dr. Rupat Ji Singhanya, Sri Harshpat Ji Singhanya, all guests sitting in the audience, parents and my dear students. We have made a humble beginning with two institutes offering quality education in management and education and, uh, and engineering streams. Our Institute of Management offers MBA full-time residential program and MBA integrated dual degree program. MBA full-time program offered by the university is different from most of the other institutions which offer MBA program because it is fully residential to facilitate students to draw maximum benefit from the academic infrastructure of the university. MBA integrated program gives choice to a student after completing three years of education successfully. A student may choose to withdraw or continue for two more years. The BBA degree is awarded if a student chooses to withdraw after three years of education and MBA degree is also awarded if a student decides to continue for two more years. The advantage to the student is that he has not to study under pressure and worry about admission in MBA program after graduation. Our Institute of Engineering and Technology offers BTEC in six branches of engineering such as chemical, civil, computer science, electronics, electrical and mechanical. MTEC is offered in two branches of engineering such as computer science and electronics. We, offer, we also offer DTEC plus MBA integrated dual degree program to facilitate saving one year of the student while awarding two degrees in the span of five years. The student needs not to again study under pressure, under pressure because he is admitted to the integrated program after 10 plus 2. The university also offers PhD program in management, engineering and science streams. To redefine career oriented education, the university ensures modern curriculum and teaching methodology matching global standards with strong emphasis on not just learning but understanding and learning by doing. Highly experienced full-time and visiting faculty for all courses drawn from leading engineering and technology institutes from across the country and abroad. JKLU mentoring program is a unique one-on-one -on -one student mentoring program for all round personality development of the students. We have a strong industry linkage to impart rich hands-on experience with leading corporate and excellent placement linkages. World-class library is a multi-level dynamic resource hub spread over 2,000 square meters. State-of-the-art IT infrastructure with a complete Wi-Fi enabled campus. Interactive learning from foreign resources through video conferencing. Normally in universities, video conferencing facility is not available from the beginning. But here we have provided this facility right from the beginning. Large amphitheater type classrooms. All classrooms are of amphitheater style. Facilities for extensive sports, recreation, team building and soft skills. There is special emphasis on soft skill development of the students. Modern hostel facilities with a shopping arcade, student activity center for all the student activities. In addition to offering quality education, university designs and conducts training programs for the executives and administrators. Management Development Center is one of the USPs of this university. Normally, universities do not have full-fledged management development center. 207 middle and senior level executives have attended various management development programs offered by the university so far. The programs have been attended by the executives of Lafarge India, IFCO, Balakrishna Tires, IDBI Bank, Omax Limited, AG Industries, Clarice Life Sciences, 
and Ericsson India decides our group companies to name a few. Faculty development is another area on which university has focused right from the beginning. 309 faculty members working in various institutions of higher education in the country have attended faculty development programs by the university so far. The programs have been attended by the faculty members of IIM Calcutta, IIT Rudki, MIT University, NIIT University, IILM Academy of Higher Learning, TA Pipe Management Institute, Manipal, Mano Rachna, Faridabad, Symbiosis Institute of Business Management, Pune, Banasthanil University, Modi University, Dayalbad, Deemed University, Nepal Administrative Staff College, Kathmandu, All India Management Association, Xavier Institute of Management, and Malvia National Institute of Technology, to name a few. To encourage our own faculty further, the university has, in a very short span of its existence, nominated the faculty members to present their research work at the international conferences in Singapore, Australia, China, Czech Republic, Thailand, and United Kingdom. It is our sovereign belief that faculty development is essential for the holistic development of the students. It is well known that people of Rajasthan are gifted in entrepreneurship. Their contribution to the economy of the nation has been quite significant. We have decided to offer a program in family business and entrepreneurship to facilitate the second generation entrepreneurs in managing the business professionally and create value not only for themselves but also for the state as well as the nation. Another niche area is tourism. Rajasthan is on the global map of tourism. Large number of domestic and foreign tourists visit Rajasthan every year. The university is planning to introduce a program in tourism administration to train the manpower for this growing industry. Regarding networking with the institutions of repute, the university has established its relationship for academic collaboration with five foreign universities so far. Hanning University, South Korea, St. Cloud State University, USA, University of Wales, UK, University of Houston, USA, and Shenyi Istvan University, Hungary. The university has also signed an MOU with IBM for developing center of technology excellence on the campus. The present government, under the able leadership of Sh Ashok Gehlotji, has made very significant and meaningful, meaningful contribution to education in general and higher education in particular. Large number of universities in private sector have evolved due to the vision and encouragement of Sri Ashok Gehlotji. Today, as per the list maintained by the University Grants Commission, our state has 56 universities, which include 14 state-funded universities, one central university, eight deemed-to-be universities, and 33 private universities. I would like to assure you, sir, that this university is going to be a model university of the state and the choice of destination for the future generations. Thank you very much. Jai.